Hey guys, today is May 11th. This is Monday. Happy Monday for math two. Today we're going to actually do some working with our hands, so we won't be doing problems today. We're going to build some figures that you're going to use in the coming days for your homework. Okay, so I just want to make a couple of notes really quick. So first note, um, a net is a two-dimensional shape that can be folded up into make a three-dimensional solid. Okay, so for example, we're going to look at lots of these like this. This is a net because I can fold it and make it into a 3D object, which we're going to do together. Okay. And we're trying to help us get um, to know different types of three dimensional figures that we're going to be looking at. Okay. We are going to be talking not today, but in the future about volume and surface area. So I want to make sure you know what those mean. So the volume is how much space the three-dimensional figure occupies. So if I were to fill it with water, how much water would fit in it? Surface area is the area of all the faces of the three-dimensional figure. So if I were to paint the whole entire shape, how much paint would I have to use? Okay, so hopefully having three-dimensional figures will help you when you're doing your homework in the next couple of days. That's why we're building them. So don't throw them away after you take the picture of them. Use them to help you on your next few days, okay? So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna do a cube. And I already cut these out because, Lord, it took me forever to cut them out and I didn't want you to have to be waiting for me to cut. So we're gonna do the cube first. This is a cube. And we're gonna fold on all the dotted lines. So every dotted line is where we're gonna fold. Just fold every single dotted line, okay? So we'll go around folding them all. And these ones too, the ones on the inside too, fold all of the dotted lines. And as you fold them, you should start to see the shape come together, okay? Folding all of my dotted lines, okay? All right, so you can already see my shape is coming together. Now I'm just gonna try to tape things together. So I'm gonna pull this up and I'm gonna tape on this piece right here. And you can use glue, it says glue on here. I'm not a fan of glue, so I'm using tape, but it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna tape in my side here, like so. And I'm just gonna tape all my sides together. Again, once you fold it, your shape, it should be obvious what kind of shape you're making, okay? So don't worry about it at first. If you're like, what is this? This looks weird. Just start folding it and it'll make itself, okay? Keep taping all the sides, these little flaps, taping this little flap right here to this one. Like so. I got one more here on this side. I'm gonna tape it again. So I already have like the makings of my box. Now all I need to do is close the top. So I'm gonna put this part right here inside of here and I'm gonna tape it closed. And if you wanna tape these two sides, you can, but it, it holds without it. So there you have your cube. Notice that a cube is the same shape on all the sides. It's a square all the way around, that's what makes it a cube. So a cube is made up of all squares. There are actually one, two, three, four, five, six squares. So when we're finding the surface area, I'm gonna look for those six squares, okay? All right, so there's my cube. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. So the next one we have is a rectangular prism. That's where we're gonna go next, rectangular prism. And I should say that a cube is a prism, Prism just means that you have two shapes that are the same and it's kind of filled up in between. So even my hands could be a prism, okay? So I have a rectangular prism, meaning it's a prism made out of a rectangle. I'm gonna do the same thing. Start by folding all of the dotted lines inward, just like we did on the last one. Take a moment, go ahead and do that. And I pre-cut all of this just to make it easier. You wouldn't have to sit and watch me, okay? All right, 
and then make sure you also fold the inside parts. And remember, when you start folding the inside parts, it's gonna start looking like the shape, okay? So fold that one in, fold this on the line. You're always folding inward. Fold this one in too. And fold this one in too. Always folding inward. So you're folding all of them the same direction. So you can see your shape is starting to come together as like a box. This is a rectangular prism, so then we'll start taping. Okay, you can start taping wherever you want, doesn't really matter. Taping all of my sides takes a little bit of time to do so. Kind of looks like a treasure chest. There you go. So you have your shape here. This is a rectangular prism. It's a rectangular prism because you, you can notice See how we have rectangles here and here, right? And it's separated by a distance. So a rectangular prism is made up of, as you can see, different rectangles, okay? Now, depending on how the rectangular prism is, this one has um, six of the same rectangle and then two squares on the end, see, square, square. That's not always the case. Most of the time, the top and the bottom are the same rectangle, Right and left are the same rectangle, and front and back are the same rectangle. Okay, so usually you have three pairs of the same shape. So you, when you're finding your surface area, use that to help you, okay? That's our prism. Next, we're gonna build a square pyramid, okay? So here's my square pyramid. Again, I already cut it out. So start folding all of the dashed lines first. And we'll be looking at these when we're finding our volume and our surface area. I'll pull my shapes back out. So like I said, don't throw them away when you finish them, okay? And whenever you do finish making them, remember you're just gonna take a picture of them and you're gonna submit them to Google Classroom like usual, okay? Right, so you fold everything in like normal. And again, you'll start seeing the shape come together. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and tape it together here. Tape our edges. Okay. One more. So there is my square pyramid. Notice the difference between a prism and a pyramid. Prism has the same sh shape, top and bottom. And a pyramid has only one shape on one side and then it always comes together with triangles to a point. Okay, so it doesn't have the same shape on top and bottom. It comes together at a point and it's always made up of triangles, always. So you'll notice that it's a square pyramid. So I have a square, always, because it's a square pyramid. And then I have one, two, three, four of the exact same triangles because it's a square. So when I'm doing the surface area, I do my four triangles and my square. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to our triangular pyramid. So that's gonna be a pyramid just like we just looked at, but it's made up of only triangles. So we'll go ahead and start folding that in. This is the one that it is. Fold in your pieces again. And then fold on the dashed lines here and your shape will kind of come to be as you're folding it. Okay, 
like so. So now I'm ready to tape. So I'll tape this together here. It's one side. Tape this one together here. And one more piece of tape just to solidify it, even though we already have our shape here. There we go. There's our triangular pyramid. You'll notice that there's a triangle on the bottom and triangles on the side. Now, since this is an equilateral triangle, all the triangles ended up being the same. That's not always going to happen, okay? But you would find the area of all the triangles and just add them together for a surface area, okay? But again, this one is special because it's all equilateral. So it's the same number on each side. So it's a special uh, triangular pyramid, okay? Then let's look at a triangular prism. So that's going to have a triangle on the bottom again, but it's going to be a prism, okay? So I'll show you the difference again. So start, this is the one we're looking at. Start folding on your lines again. And if it takes you forever to cut yours out, it took me forever too. So don't <laughs> feel like that's just you. It took me a long time too. Okay, and then fold these lines as well. Okay, and again, you'll notice your shape is starting to come to be. So we'll start taping. You can decide how you wanna tape first. Oh, I didn't even finish folding, my goodness. Fold these lines too. All right, so we'll start taping. However you want to start, it doesn't matter. Start taping the edges. I'll do the other edge on the other side. Do this on the top since it's a big piece of tape. And then we'll tape the sides. Just in case it comes apart. And one more side. There you go. This is a triangular prism. Why? Because look, the top and the bottom are the exact same triangle and it's separated by this space in between, okay? That's what makes it a prism. It has the same shape on top and bottom. You'll notice the triangular prism is made up of triangle, two triangles and then one, two, three rectangles. And in this case, because it's an equilateral triangle, the three rectangles are exactly the same. That's not always the case, okay? All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a hexagonal prism okay hexagonal prism this should be fun so start folding this is the one you're looking at start folding this one so hexagonal meaning hexagon so it's going to have six sides and it's a prism so it's going to have the same shape on the front and the back the hexagon it's going to be front and back these ones are weird but you're going to fold on all of the lines so even the ones that are not dashed you're still folding on these lines okay I don't know why some are dashed and some are not. But. Okay, and these ones too. And folding in always, always folding in. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the box first. I think it's just easier, so the middle part first. It kinda looks like this. So this piece, don't overlap that. It's only overlapping the little tab. It has to have six sides, because it's a hexagon. 
So be careful of that. So it looks like that kind of, see? And we just gotta put the lids on. Probably not gonna tape all these little tabs, but you can put the, oh, I didn't even fold the lid, sorry. Forget to fold something, you'll always figure it out when you're trying to make it and you're like, why isn't this moving? Put all the little tabs inside, like so. And then you're gonna tape it. I don't think you have to tape all of them. I just taped the far side. Same thing over here, helps a little bit if you move your tabs like out a little bit so they're not so squished in. Let's tape the other side now. I gotta make all these little tabs go inside. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if they end up on the outside, but. And then we're gonna tape. There we go. So there's your shape. So notice, look, top, hexagon, six sides. Bottom, same hexagon, six sides. And then notice you have one, two, three, four, five, six rectangles that are all the same because it's a regular hexagon, so they're all the same. So I have six rectangles and two hexagons. Okay, we're gonna do one more. I'm gonna do a cylinder. And now a cylinder is actually also a type of prism because it has the same shape on top and bottom. They just call it a different name because it has circles, okay? So here's my cylinder. So we'll start folding in again. This piece too. See if they don't rip off. It's pretty, just barely hanging on there. So, okay, and then we're gonna fold this piece too. Now, before I put this together, I want you to notice that the shape cylinder is made up of a rectangle and two circles. That's not completely obvious when you see the shape. So I wanna make sure you remember that, okay? All right, so we're gonna put this together. We're gonna roll it together. It's a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna tape this edge over here to this one without making any creases. So that's to be rolled. No creasing it. Might need to kind of do this to make it even look more circular. There you go, right? And now we're just gonna put the lids in kind of, I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the hexagon. Just gonna kind of put it in and then tape a little bit, probably not all of it. Close enough. Same on the bottom side. Put the tape on here on the lid. And then put the lid inside and attach it. Okay, I'm gonna tape this a little bit better on the side here just because it's kind of coming up. All right, good enough. <laughs> okay, so here's my cylinder. This is a cylinder. Notice there's a circle on the top, circle on the bottom, and there's kind of this space between. That's what makes it a prism, okay? But it's made up of, remember, two circles. And remember, this was a rectangle when we rolled it out. Okay, so those are our shapes. Okay, so um, if you have any questions or you need help on any of this, feel free to talk to me through Remind. Um, Google Classroom, email, whatever you need. Have a great day, guys.